Hey guys, this is Alex. Hey, and uh, this is Axel. What's and up? So, we were building a macro coil for his plume veil, um, and basically, uh, I keep looking at this thing, and I really, I want to be able to build some sort of chimney build off it. I love that the air comes through the negative posts. I think it's just sick. Um, even though, it, I mean, it does cause a little bit of leaking issues, but nothing that I've really noticed in him using this constantly. Um, so I was like, man, it's too bad we can't build a chimney coil or something, you know, something to come right off those negative posts, and do like a, a super micro coil and have it come out of there and just come off at like a 45 degree angle, create like a vortex in there. I don't know. I think about a lot of things that really aren't possible, sadly. Um, but it's, it's fun. So it got me thinking. I was like, dude, I saw this video last night from Pubisardo, and he was looking at this RDA called the Marquee. And I was like, at, towards the end, he shows this, uh, he shows this build, this double chimney coil. Um, and I've been watch I was watching the whole damn thing, and I mean, the crown, it's innovative, the holes, everything, it's really sick. But I saw that chimney call, I was like, it keeps saying that this thing is like the Veritas. Well, I have a Veritas, and I love it. It's uh, absolutely great. Um, I'm super into flavor. I mean, Blowing Clouds is cool, but that's more his thing. Um, and so I was like, we could do that. We could totally do this um, on a Veritas. We could totally build a chimney coil. I don't know how much space is in there, but let's try it. So I had um, a 24 gauge, what was it, how many wraps was it? Uh, we started off at, uh, I think it was 12 wraps, 12 wraps for his uh, horizontal coil. Um, he was so psyched, he got his Veritas. The first thing that he did was send me a picture of his brand new 12 wrap coil. All <laughs> zoomed in so it looks massive in the camera oh, and everything. Yeah. It was definitely a beautiful coil. I hadn't really ever really looked into the Veritas, so I was a little bit confused at how the posts work because I got a plume veil. I got four posts. He's got like three. You have three posts. Okay. Well, I have you three have posts, posts but four holes. You I don't, don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got this raised post and these two lowered ones, and I'm getting all confused. So I had to come over here. He showed me what's up, and then we're working on my plume veil. And now we're here, basically, with this great idea. So... We were like, screw it, we don't need to build a new coil. You know, that's a pain in the ass. Um, uh, let's just, let's try and use what we've already got. I love the horizontal coil. I tried to copy Rip Trippers and his build um, because he's raving about flavor and I'm all about flavor. And so it worked, it was great, I loved it. I was like, we could reuse this sucker. It's positioned great. I mean, it's right down there. Um, and so, uh, basically, I took a 12 wrap, which was too long. It would have definitely, it would have been hitting the, uh, would have been hitting the wall here. So we took off three wraps. Um, I took off one. I took off another one. I'm kind of looking, making sure that there's enough space. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, yeah, we're going to show you uh, sort of a step-by-step -step on this. It's not the most in-depth thing. Um, obviously, if you're building on the Veritas, you're probably not a newbie. Um, it is more difficult than a lot of things, but to me, it's totally worth it. Um, mm -hmm. And so, I'm going to give you basically a brief rundown uh, coming up right here on um, on how I did this and how I made the Hobbit build. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I got you with the rocket, dude. Okay, so I just watched a video by Pubisardo um, on the marquee. the marquee, and I saw this chimney coil build, and I was like, well, that thing's kind of like the Veritas. Um, so I was like, fuck it, I'm going to build one. So uh, here it is right now. Um, and uh, as you can see, kind of a slow ramp up time. I think we're 
think we're at, yeah, we're at 30 watts right now, so let's, uh, let's wick her up and see how it goes. Okay, so this is my 0.7 ohm, 24 gauge Canthal, uh, wicking deal. Um, <laughs> fucking, um, it's pretty difficult. I actually, uh, down here, I started down there with a little piece that I tucked from this side. Since both my leads are on this side, uh, there's a lot more room to work with over here, so I figured I could actually overlap them over here. So I came through down there, and I did a little tuck, and then I wrapped it over into this side and sort of tucked it underneath so we have uh, coverage on this side of the coil. And then I tucked whatever was left over there. And I put a little, as my brother calls them, a little fluffy cloud up here through behind the positive lead, just in case. Um, now... There is very little room, as you can see, right here on the front. Um, but with that, uh, with that reduction, it should actually speed up the air a little bit. Um, and so uh, we'll see how that goes. You know, reduced chamber, increased uh, air velocity um, should produce some good flavor. Okay, so I've actually started. Uh juicing it up and as you can see it goes right through you can see that little post through there and looking at it like this I've decided to call this thing the uh, fucking hobbit build <laughs> and uh, so that's pretty much awesome this was a 1 ohm 24 gauge Canthal um, build Uh, but it was a horizontal build, and I did that because I saw a couple people do it. They said the flavor was great and whatnot. Um, and I like to sit upwards, uh, probably around 0.7, 1 ohms. Um, so I actually just twisted it and readjusted it and just kept readjusting it. It used to be connected to this this lead here. This actually, I haven't even undone uh, undone undone this um, and so we were just able to twist it uh, luckily I did get these nuts from kidney puncher and they are an absolute lifesaver building this thing without those was freaking it, it was awful I can't think of a comparison right now about how terrible it was um, especially because my fingers you know they get all sticky and fucked up um, so Gripping that, even gripping something to grip something that small is a pain in the ass um, when there's juice everywhere. And yeah, I should probably be more clean when I build, but hey, what are you going to do? Uh, all I want to do is vape, and so, like, why would I sit there and clean shit when I could be vaping while I clean shit? Alright, so here is Alex. He's putting on the cap for his Veritas, trying to line up the air hole with not just the air hole, but the coil. It's going to go straight through the center of that coil. Good airflow. Still getting Surprising. good airflow. Like, I, I was seriously worried that I wouldn't have it. So, as you can see, uh, 0.7, 30 watts is where we're at. Can you focus oh. that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, awesome. We're with the sick-ass Veritas. Um, I've got a Delrin drip tip in here just because I love hitting this thing so much. And, um, well, I don't want burnt lips. All right, let me back up okay. just in case. So this is the first hit. I did not take a test hit before this. I have not tried this before. I just watched the video from P. Pissardo, and I was like, dude, I gotta try this. I gotta, I gotta do this. So I went, I did a quick Google search. I didn't see any of these chimney builds or the Hobbit build, um, but uh, yeah, buddy. so here it is. Never tried before. I just uh, dripped um, some Baker White Ambrosia, which is like my favorite flavor, but it's freaking expensive which sucks uh, expensive for me um, I am a graduate student so uh, I am uh, I am not high up on the uh, socioeconomic scale so let's let's do this I'm gonna stop stalling all right let's do this am I locked? I'm locked son of a bitch okay here we go am I allowed to say that on YouTube okay <laughs>
dude, the flavor is just the oh. This is my new build. This is it, the Hobbit build. Um, holy crap, that's awesome. Hold on, let me take another draw. He's running at 30 watts, 0.7 ohm build, 24 gauge canthal. Beautiful. Super warm. Um, Clouds hitting the wall. The flavor is killer. I mean, I did the horizontal build. Um, I did some other things. I did lots of wicking. I did little wicking. This is the best that I have seen so far uh, for me. That's like the best that I've used so far. I'm actually just going to pop off this top cap so you can see that uh, I am, in fact, using the Hobbit build. That's and good. that is just awesome. You got focus? Oh, yeah. And, uh, Beautiful. Here. Rock see if and I roll. can see through that air hole, too. So uh, that is the Hobbit build by Alex. And uh, if you have any questions or whatever, let me know, and uh, I'll see if I can help. I'm positive. Okay, so uh, one thing, too, about this Hobbit build, um, I think, I don't know, I'm going to try and build it with a little less cotton. Um, I am using Cogendo, um, and uh, you really, it doesn't, with, with this much cotton wrapped this tightly around the coil, um, you really just almost... I mean, almost like you're brushing the hair, you really just got to sit there and just sort of brush it so that it seeps down into the cotton down there. Because um, this thing does have deep wells, and it's pretty awesome for that. I mean, I love it. I can sit there, and I can grade papers, and do work for hours, um, and not drip this uh, more than a couple of times, unless I'm really ripping it. Um, but, yeah. Um... Let's see here. I don't think there's anything else. I think that's that's pretty much it. So let me know what you think. Uh, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you try it because it is absolutely uh, the best build that I've tried on the Veritas thus far. Okay, so my wonderful associate here informs me that I can take a drag off of this and then inhale some air, say something to you without it sounding like this, and then explode into the camera. So we're going to try that right now and see if that actually works. Okay, let's see here. We are unlocked. We've got the Hobbit build. Happy Thanksgiving. That's the Hobbit build. Um, uh, Pros and cons, basically. Yeah, here you go. Try that. Tell me what you think. So we're gonna we're gonna have Axel try this. See what he thinks. That's crucial. <laughs> it's Literally. over, dude. It's over. Um, so, okay, a few things I've noticed. I mean, even just after using this for a little bit, this guy. Um, <laughs> is at the end of, like, where the Hobbit's door is, basically. Mm -hmm. You're going to get a ton of gunk buildup because it gets really hot down there because mm -hmm. um, it's right up against the wall. So you're actually, you're going to be dealing with that a bit. And this build, um, I did, I wrapped it around a uh, 3 millimeter uh, screwdriver, um, and it burns a lot of juice. I mean, you're going to go through juice pretty damn fast, even if you are soaking that wick. Um, so, for the future, I'm definitely, um, maybe tonight, since it is Thanksgiving, I'm going to try and use a little less wick, see if I can't be a little bit more efficient with that. This is just a me trying something out because uh, I was inspired by, by other people. So... There, there's that. What can can you think of anything else that's like a, a major downside, major plus? I um, mean, the flavor is killer. Oh, absolutely. The clouds are. I mean, they're up there for the Veritas. You mm -hmm. know, Veritas isn't gonna be shooting vapor bullets all over the planet. It's you know, but it is sick. Yeah, I mean, um, it does the job for me. Yeah, we're running at 30 watts, and I can take one or two, three good pulls, and it is just hot as hell, though. That's one thing. This is a hot, hot build. Even after one, two-second pulls, it's it's hot vapor, warm, hot vapor. 
So you're going to be feeling that right away. That's not everybody's, uh, you know, niche as I have found with, you know, other people trying, um, you know, my plume veil and stuff. They just die. They do not like that. And I enjoy it greatly. So, I mean, if you're into that, yeah. it's definitely great. He's all about it. That's, that's his. I don't know, man. You seem to be more into the cooler, smoother kind of vapes, you know, where it's really like, I mean, you, you I probably need one of those, you need one of those long straw, um, like those curved ones that are for like the e-pipes. Um, I you remember, you know, I, but they are ridiculous. I took a huge long uh, hose and oh, had it geez. set to like, yeah, I had it hooked up. For an to the ice machine, nonetheless. This is this is a kit you get at Walmart for building, rebuilding your ice dispenser <laughs> machine in your refrigerator. And he takes the tube and is like, you know, I want to vape, but I don't want to be all like, you know, really uh, obvious. So he takes it, hooks it up as a drip tip, runs it up his shirt up here, and it's coming out of his shirt. So he just. You know, pushes the button in his pocket and he's just freaking. All right, that sounds really awful. That was ridiculous. <laughs> not, it yeah. was a terrible you were, idea. You were sucking a pocket rocket. <laughs> let's, be, let's be honest here, man. I mean, we cannot lie about pocket rocket sucking. I mean, what kind of world would we live in? What the fuck are you talking about? At okay, this point? so anyway. <laughs> Unless it's a terrible idea. Anyway, Don't anyway, try that. Veritas, this build, awesome. It's a very hot vape. I think it's magnificent. You will burn through juice a lot faster mm -hmm. um, with the wicking setup and everything that I've got. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, definitely careful with metal drip tips and stuff like that, or rubber drip tips. They'll either melt or they will get so hot they will literally burn your lip. I have burned my lip on this a few times without the Delrin uh, drip tip that he has handy. And do you know why that is? That's because the flavor is so awesome. No, whatever. It's and not so you enough. just can't stop hitting it. You're just like, oh man, it's, it's so true. good. It's, it's so very good. nice. But uh, so yeah, you guys have a great uh, Thanksgiving if you didn't already. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, New Year's resolutions: quit smoking, start vaping. Easy as that. Absolutely. So uh, rock and roll, lay off the sticks, and uh, get on the wicks. Let's do this. Have a good one.